This is Dallas Owens from Global Fight Talk. I'm here with Guillermo Gutierrez, 10 and 0. Uh, how are you doing today, Guillermo? I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm doing great today. Thank you. Good, good, good. So, uh, I know you got a really important fight coming up here in the week of April 20th, right? Yes, sir. April 20th down in Laredo, Texas. Down in Laredo. Okay. And then, from what I understand, it's going to be on, is it going to be on uh, Box Azteca? Yes, I believe so. Box Azteca. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And how are you? How are you feeling? Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm anxious. I'm ready to get this fight over with. But yeah, I feel good. I feel confident. I've been training hard, and yeah, everything's going good. I'm just can't wait to be in the ring. Good, good, good. So when you say, how how about how far out of a fight until you start getting feeling like butterflies in your stomach and stuff? I'll say the the day of the fight. <laughs> day of. All right, yeah, the day of the like fight. that helps you focus. The butterflies? Yeah. Um, it, it it just it just um just comes with the na- the territory is natural like I just embrace the the butterflies and all that I just I just embrace it I just go with the flow. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So, uh, and this is gonna be against uh, Jaime Hasso. I believe I'm saying am I saying that right? Hasso. Yeah, him? yeah, you get Jaime Hasso. Oh. Yeah, I fought him in my my third pro fight, third and that was fight. a. Yes, sir. That was a majority decision that I got, and yeah, I mean, it's gonna be another in- interesting fight because to this day I, I still believe he's like he's one of my toughest opponents just because he was like he's fast and like he he's young and athletic and he he's all right. So it'll be a good fight. So was this uh, was the rematch your idea or his? Um, so it, it just came up to my manager and like, it was for a WBC intercontinental title. So that came up too. So we, we took it cause of that. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's in easy. Texas. So why not? Yeah. Yeah. It's in Texas and why not just stay in Texas? <laughs> but yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yes, sir. But I was going to ask you about that. Uh, so in like, so this one's coming up is in Laredo. You fought out of San Antonio a few times, correct? Yes. And then you're, you live in San Antonio. Yes. Correct. In general, at some point, at least uh, you probably have in the past, and at some point in the future, you're going to have to start like really traveling. Uh, is that something that is that a good thing for you, or is that a bad thing for you? How do you feel about like travel? Uh, I'm good with that. I mean, yeah, that's where the big the big fights are. You got you got to travel, you got to go out and adventure and and see what that's where the the big fights take place in Vegas, out of the country, it's just wherever they are. You got to go. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, speaking of travel, uh, did you, and I may have this wrong, uh, not that long ago, did you travel to California to train with Robert Garcia for a little bit or just to pop in or? Yeah, just to pop in. I, I was there for like three days. I was there just to spar. Okay. Yeah. I got some how, good work feel, there. How did you feel about it? Was it worth the worthwhile endeavor? Yeah, it was cool just to be up there, just be in the gym because you see you see the gym and social media and all that. So it, it was cool to be in there. I got some good work with some some pros up there, and I, I, yeah, I said that that helped me that helped me in my skills take okay. it up a little level. But yeah, it was great being up there. The last time you fought Jaime, it was in December of 2021. It's 2024 now. It's been a while. Uh, have you been keeping up with him? He's also a Texas fighter. I think he lives in San Antonio as well. Uh, do y'all like run into each other? You keep up with his career now? Um, a little bit, but after we fought, we, we sparred a few months later. So oh, okay. I mean, that was a good sparring. That was good work. Hmm. But uh, I just keep up from like his box rec. I, I look, I look it up sometimes, and I see his record. I mean, that that's about it. I don't really talk to him or run into him at all. So just, just real basic. Okay. All right. All right. And so, are you trying to? watch the tape on the four fights he's had since then or you kind of kind of do you have an idea of what you're getting into uh since you have fought him previously um most definitely yeah. we're always watching we always try to find film if over on fighting if there's film up there and like like this guy is a rematch so we definitely have film and yeah me and my coach has been watching and my coach has been making the game plan and yeah we've just been watching and studying and imp- implementing it in the gym and hopefully it pays off Man, hopefully getting ready for your first eight rounder, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, first eight rounders. Excited for that one too. <laughs> That's awesome. And so I'm guessing, from the way you've been talking already, I'm guessing that the WBC uh, Youth Intercontinental Belt is the more important than the symbolic. I only got a majority decision. I'm trying to beat this guy full throttle. So far, is that? Am I far off on that one? 
Oh no, no, most definitely, definitely motivation and adds a little hard work to to my record and stuff. And yeah, that's that's great to have, and just hopefully it'll put me in line for the the main ones, the big the world champions. Yeah, so I'm looking yeah, forward to that. Are you wanting? Are you wanting to stick to six eight rounders after that for for a little while longer? Or how fast are you trying to progress in your career? I guess is the better question. I think just whenever my my coaches feel like I'm ready, but for me. A couple more eight rounders and ten rounders, and we'll see after that. Then, you, then you're ready for the championship. Yes, sir. Definitely give right. more experience in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. What is it that got you into boxing in the first place? Like in general. So I started boxing when I was about seven, eight years old. My my dad had signed me up. We we're just in the neighborhood. We were, we were just driving around one day, and he saw a boxing gym, and we stopped by, and he signed me up. <laughs> it, was, it was nothing really special about that <laughs> so he signed me up when i was about eight years old some storybook moment where the lights were flashing and <laughs> right nah but he said he, he he always wanted a box so he he signed me up that, that's a little story i guess <laughs> yeah well, so, so was he a box. fan of boxing like watching boxing or are you a fan or are y'all fans of watching boxing or are you just into doing it um they, they watch the big fights like the casual stuff but okay. me and i'm I'm definitely a fan because I'm always watching boxing. I'm always keeping up with fighters and stuff. But yeah, my fa- I would my family they just watch the big fights. That's it, and then my fight, of course. <laughs> of course, yeah, I would imagine yeah. that'd be terrible if they like. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna catch this one, son. Uh, maybe maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, what do you do better than Jaime? And what like what do you have any specifics on? How you're gonna break him down? How you're gonna beat him this time? Uh, or is there anything in particular you're working on? We've been working on like sitting down on our punches, but that's that's been the whole thing we've been working on since I turned pro. Sitting down on my punches to get those knockouts because I only have one knockout. So yeah. definitely sitting down on those punches. And I feel like my t- technique is just way better than hustle. I feel like a more my technique just way like better and like more compact. Then see what else. He's definitely wild. Like he does a lot of a lot of looping punches. So we're working to stay compact and hands up and dips and rows and all that stuff. So yeah, we're always working in the gym after every fight and hoping to get better. We're always learning from our weaknesses and yeah, it'll be a great fight Saturday. Yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm I'm really excited for it. And that's that's in Laredo on Box Azteca, first eight rounder, April twentieth. Guillermo Gutierrez, ten and zero. Versus Jaime Hasso, I stick. I, it's gonna be awesome. I'm I'm ready to see it. I hope everybody else sees it as well. Yes, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Can't can't wait. That my last fight was in January, and like it's been long long couple months. I'm just ready to get back in there. Okay, awesome, cool. Well, I guess thank you. This is Dallas from Global Fight Talk. Guillermo Gutierrez.